after having an inbox that constantly looks like this, I decided that I really need to find a better way to get through my newsletters. And in the best of situations, it still takes me one to two hours to go through all these emails, sift through, find my newsletters and read them. And a lot of the times these newsletters have a lot of duplicate information. So I decided to create my own newsletter summarizer and N8N is the perfect, perfect platform to use for that because uh, one of the things that I found is that I need quite a bit of code to be able to get everything, clean it, cluster it, summarize it, and then send myself a nice looking email. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run it and then I'm going to open up every node and I'm going to show you what's inside and how I've set it up. Now, my automation, as you can see, has three parts. The first part is uh, getting the Gmail emails. The second part is actually processing those emails. And the third part is creating the summary and sending it to myself. Okay, now let's run it. Uh, usually, just uh, to let you know, I have only just for this tutorial have put four senders, meaning four newsletters. And I've limited to only four items because the more senders you give, the more the bigger the limitation, the higher the number, the longer it will take for this automation to run. And that's not what we want right now. But if you want every single piece of code from this automation, you can come and grab the template from my community, AI Business Builders, and grab it from the N8N template library. If not, I will do my best to show you what the code looks like. And I'm not a coder. Most of you who watch my videos know. So I usually code mostly to code for me. Okay, so we've gone through. And now we're going to go and have a look at the email I have received, which is right here. And it's AI and Tech News Summary, Thursday, April the 17th. Okay, so it's really nicely <clears throat> formatted and that's exactly what I wanted. And yeah, I like it quite a bit. <clears throat> so let's open every single node and look through. <clears throat> My trigger, is my Gmail node. And what I'm doing is I want it to run every day at seven o'clock in the morning, look for messages received and specifically looking into my promotions uh, labels because this is the inbox where all my newsletters go to. Then after I see, after I, after I find all these emails, I actually want to get them. And if you have more than one sender, you definitely need to send your operation to get many. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Then the limit, as I said, when I, when it was running, at the moment I've set it up to four. And I only have added four of my senders. Now, something that I found is that if you separate the senders with a comma and then you do the next one, comma, next one, it doesn't work. You have to put OR and it has to be with capital letters. Once we are done with getting the emails, we're going to split our path and one pathway will go to mark all these messages as red. <clears throat> and I'm just using the messages, uh, the message ID, and they all getting labeled as red. Now, for now, I'm going to leave it as red. Once I run this automation several times and maybe tweak it a little bit, I will add another node here, another Gmail node, or I will replace the mark as red with delete message. Or I'll have mark as red and then delete message. I haven't decided yet. That's why I've just left it as mark as red because I can still go back and make sure 
that everything that is coming through my summarizer is correct and it's not missing anything. Okay, now, after we you know, get all these emails, we actually have to extract the information. What I said to Claude was I'm getting newsletters from several senders through my Gmail and I need, <coughs> I need code that will extract the, all the content from those newsletters. Now, this took me a couple of backwards and forwards with Claude, but we finally got it right. And <coughs> as you can see, it's about 75 lines, but it's working really, really well. Our next node is just an open AI message a model node. Now I played with the idea of using an agent or using a chain. It, then I thought it's just an overkill. This will work just as fine. And at first I did try to use just prompting, but it wasn't working quite well. It was getting it was getting the data, but it was giving me these crappy little uh, snippets that were like one sentence and it was, it was actually losing quite a bit of information. So basically what I said is please analyze this newsletter con content and I mapped out the subject, the from and the content. And then I said extract key topics and create a comprehensive summary for each topic focus on details and provide thorough coverage for the content. <clears throat> Return the response as a JSON array of topics. And I've got the array here, which is title, summary. <clears throat> now in the title, I said clear descriptive title for the topic. In summary, detailed comprehensive summary with specific information from the newsletters <clears throat> include key facts, figures, and insights mentioned in the content any links and any keywords. And then I gave it a couple of rules, uh, create a minimum of three to five detailed topics per newsletter, include all the significant information from the content, create thorough comprehensive summaries for each topic. For topics about companies, include leads to their official websites when available. And uh, it is working very, very well. Then what we need is after we extract all this information, we actually need to split the topics and every topic is split up. As you can see, everything, you've got keywords, keywords, you have all sorts of stuff that is split up. And I said to Claude, I am receiving, actually what I did is I copied the output from OpenAI and I said, I need to be able to split up all the topics, you know, clean up everything and split up all the topics. So it actually did exactly that. It cleans it up from any markdown codes. Uh, it parses it, it makes sure that it's parsed as a JSON. It, uh, uh, it's making sure that it's an array and if it's not, it uh, wraps it up in an array. Uh, it looking, it's looking for the topics and making sure that it's finding those topics and um, basically splitting up everything. And then the last thing is return all topics as a single item for further processing. So it splits them up and then it puts them all together. Because the next node, what it does is it actually looks at all these topics and clusters them by topic. So you saw in the newsletter where I had this topic and a couple of snippets from, uh, for that, from that topic, which means that these topics come from different newsletters, but they are under the same topic. And I said, again, I said to Claude, I am receiving this output. Again, I copied and pasted the output from the previous node. And I said, now I need to extract all the topics and I need you to calculate similarities 
and then cluster them together. And that's exactly what it's doing. As you can see, a helper function to calculate similarity between two topics based on keywords. So we're using the keywords from the previous node that we extracted them and we are creating the clusters that way. Uh, it is a quite a bit of code. And as I said, if you want all this code and you don't have to work with Claude, although it didn't take me long, to be honest, it didn't take me long. It took me maybe a couple of hours to build the whole thing. Uh, if, but if you want to get it without having to work with Claude or chat GPT for writing code, just come and grab the template from the AI business builders. The, the last code note, and yes, I know we have one, two, three, four, we have five code notes, but the last one is easy. All I said is, okay, now we have all this summary uh, with clusters. Uh, sorry, no, I'm lying. We were here, we were clustering. So now that we have the clusters, we want to write a summary. So we want to get all this information. We want to extract these clusters. As you can see, I said, I want to extract the clusters from the previous nodes. And I, I want to format the date for the newsletter. And I want to create a simple newsletter summary. And then I'm giving it the raw input data for debugging. So this creates the summary. This is the final summary that will be sent to me in my email. But then what I wanted is I wanted a nice looking email. Like you saw, it's, it has nice colors and it has headings and subheadings and everything is just really nicely formatted for which I needed an HTML. Uh, and I said, can you now grab all that and make it into a nice looking HTML. My prompt wasn't even and it wasn't even anything fancy. That's literally what I said. I wanted to look nice. I wanted to be nicely formatted and I wanted to be pleasant to the site. And it literally wrote the HTML, which takes me to the last node, which is the Gmail node. So I'm sending it to myself. I'm um, getting the JSON subject, which is right here from the previous node. The, e the email type is HTML and I'm grabbing this HTML uh, block here and I'm sending, I'm sending this to myself. So as you can see, this is going to definitely save me a truckload of time. And I, I think that is something that each and every one of us probably needs, especially if you're signed up to quite a few newsletters like me and you want to take back some of that time that you are using for sifting through your email and reading email and, and reading newsletters. Uh, and as I said, if you want the actual template with all the code, come and grab it from the AI Business Builders School community. If not, I'll see you in the next video.